Internal controls then, basically they're there to make sure that we record substance, not form. We want to detect fraud and error. And it's the auditor's job to understand how the internal controls work so that he can work out what procedures are needed. Now, in this basic part, we've got to understand that there are five components of what makes up internal controls. And that is you need a strong control environment, which means the management need to uh, ensure that people uh, deliver the internal controls. We need to assess the risk of, um, of things going wrong. We need information systems, and that can be the accounting, it can be any system really that the, uh, the company uses. They will need internal controls there. We need to monitor those controls on a timely basis, because if we don't, uh, and we don't find out things are going wrong early on, um, we won't know until the very end and it could be too late. And then the one that kind of the exam's all about is the control activities. What are these individual internal controls? So they are things like get everything approved. Now, what what I'm doing here, I want you to really, uh, I want you to really revise all these because, as we'll see, the the best way to answer these questions is always by doing exam questions and, and using the scenario. But I'm just giving you ideas, really. So authorization, having uh, IT controls, so passwords and things you can only get to certain areas of systems, doing control account reconciliations. Uh, bank reconciliations and some of and some of digits, not some of digits, uh, segregation of duties, where more than you always need more than one person to deal with a transaction from start to end. In terms of risk assessment, you also need to think of assessing the risk. So that means uh, how likely it is to happen and what is the impact if it does happen. And then you need to think as well: Do they have control to mitigate the risk, i.e., to reduce the risk or to transfer the risk, that sort of thing. Information systems then, uh, I said it was accounting, I said it could be sales, could be anything. The auditor's job is to understand them all, so then you can have an idea of where the risks are. Strong control environment, we said it was a management attitude, a top-down thing. Do they give punishments if you don't uh, adhere to controls, that sort of thing. So there are five components of internal control. A strong control environment risk assessment, information systems, monitoring of controls, and control activities. I want you to remember these five. So here's a little test. Which is the one missing alongside risk, information systems, monitoring, control, and control activities? Do you remember? Strong control environments. I want you to remember these five. So here's another test. This time, there's two missing. <laughs> Strong control environment and the control activities. Remember, control activities are the actual internal controls that we look at in more detail. Guess what I'm going to do now? This time, three missing. What are the three? Strong control environments, control activities, and risk assessment. Okay, guess what I'm doing next? I really want you to remember these. There are, this time, four missing. And they are strong control environments, control activities, risk assessments, and all the different information systems. And guess what I'm going to do next? No, I'm not, because you know them all. Okay.